the adventure begins. What's up YouTube, it's Jacob from Denning Bros Gaming, and today we're going to be starting, as you can see, our very own Emerald version Pokemon Nuzlocke. Now if you guys don't know what a uh, Nuzlocke is, it's uh, basically, um, there's three main rules you gotta follow. One, you get one encounter per route. Two, you gotta name every one of your Pokemon. And three, when a Pokemon faints, it is gone forever. So now, now that we got the tech speed on fast and our frame type to match the game that we are playing, let's get on going and start this new game. Hi, uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch. My arrow calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call Pokemon. Gotta miss your mind. Uh, this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates, and at times we offer to work mates, and sometimes we band together and battle each other's traders like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I'm an undertaking research. That is what I do. And you are... Oh my god, dude. Alright, we're gonna go just with good old Jake here. Oopsies. Let's see here. J. A. A. All good. Uh, so it's Jake? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Air Jake is moving to my hometown of Flitter. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap right into the world of Pokemon dreams and blah 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 blah. And you get into a moving truck. I still don't understand why you can't sit passenger. Like, you're 10 years old and everything, but like, I feel like sitting passenger would still be safer than like getting crushed by that desk that's right there. Nice. Oh, sweetie. Hi, Jake. <laughs> We're here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feeling, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Jake. Let's go inside. See, Jake? Isn't it nice in here, too? The movers Pokemon do all the work of moving and cleaning up after us. This is so convenient. Jake, go up to your room and go check it out. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. We actually have a dad in this game. That's cool. Let's set this. Uh, let's see what time is it. This is AM, but it doesn't matter. I'm still gonna set it. Wait, so it's currently 7.48, so I think... Let's get right there. Boom. Jake, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything. And downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything is all there on your desk. She's talking about the potion that's in here. Let's grab this. We're gonna need it later. Because, uh, Nuzlocke's are serious. I take them very seriously. I try not to lose anyone if possible, but we may have deaths, some may fall harder than others, some may we uh, get a close bond with Pokemon. Ah, God, I'm excited, I'm excited. Oh, Jake, Jake, come quickly. Look, it's Puddleberg Gym, maybe Dad will be on. And today... No, I'm not even going to do an interview his voice. I'm just going to stop, I'm just going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door. You should go over and introduce yourself. All right, we don't have our running shoes yet, which is a little annoying, but we can use the speed up button just a little bit. All moms sound the same, by the way. Oh hello, and you are? You're Jake, our new next door neighbor. Hi. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. This girl doesn't know where his own daughter is. She was wrong. Did I mess with her clock? It's 
cool that the clock says the same time that I set it at. Uh, I just thought that was cool. Oh, I thought we were gonna get go something. <clears throat> oh my goodness! Who who are you? Oh my goodness! You're like uh, Jake. So your move was today? Oh my goodness! I'm Meg. Like nice to meet you. I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I heard that about you, Jake, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice, Jake, and like we could become friends. Oh my goodness, this is silly, isn't it? I've just met you, Jake. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to help my dad catch some wild Pokemon. Jake, I'll catch you later. Alright, let's go get our starter. Let's go. I'm excited to see what our starter options are even are. I'm gonna talk to this girl while I pull up my notes. Just pull up the notes real quick, just so I can write everything down, get everything all sorted out for when we get our starter. Ah, uh, help me! Hello, you over there, please help me. In my bag there is a Pokeball. There's more than one Pokeball. Our first pitch. Not bad, not bad, but I would prefer something a little bit better. Hop it, not the right direction, and Totodile! I think I'm gonna go Pidgey. Just because there's so many water types, it's inevitable that we find another one. I had to turn on my lights. It's inevitable that we find another water type. So, I think we're gonna go Pidgey. Which is fine, I guess, but. Easy enough. Uh, Ooh. Oh, I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You say he thanks a lot. Oh, yeah, Jake. This is not the place to chat. So come by my Pokemon lab. Uh, so, yeah, Jake. I've heard so much about you from your father. I heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. The way you battled early, you pulled it off with a lump. I guess uh, your father's blood is in you after all. Uh, uh, Oh yes, as a thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Not a very exciting starter, but I will take it. What I'm going to name it, I have no idea. Um, Pidgey, 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 I'm gonna name it Bailey. Don't ask me why, just the first thing that came to mind. Pidgey. Alright. I am so bad at coming up with nicknames. Pokemon? Not even so funny. Maybe uh, If you work at a Pokemon uh, gate experience, you may uh, make a extremely good Pokemon trainer. I uh, back there is also stay Pokemon will uh, help me out. Uh, Jake, don't you think it might be a good idea to go see Bay? Sure. Uh, great. Uh, they should be happy to get me to teach you what it means to be a trader. Alright. Boom. Let's keep on going. Alright, first off, all Pokemon abilities are random. So, instead of whatever Pidgey usually has, it has Sandville, which is useless for us right now. But it's holding the Bright Powder. I'm actually going to leave that on him. If you guys don't know the Bright Powder, uh, basically lowers, uh... People's, uh, people's, uh, accuracy. There we go. Um, but we are going to keep on going here. Talk to a few people. I know that in this first down. Okay, this doesn't count as our route one encounter, by the way. Just letting everyone know that. Because the Nuzlocke doesn't officially start until we have three things. We need... That might hurt. One, we need a Pokemon. 
That's checked. Two. We need... Uh, two, we need Pokeballs, and three, we need a Pokedex. So even if a Pidgey, our Pidgey does faint, um, it doesn't count because, uh, technically nothing is starting to get. So we're gonna get the potion from this girl, and we're gonna keep on going forward. I know that everyone else is level 5 too, I'm gonna just get to get one level. Maybe two levels? No, I'll just get one level. Let's go fight Mayno. Heal up one more time, and... I'm only using the speed up button because... We don't have our running shoes yet. Wobble Fett, get out of here. Alright, let's go talk to Mayno. We gotta battle her. I'm not liking our encounters on this route so far, just hope you guys all know that. But oh my goodness! Let's see, the Pokemon found on Route 103 include... Oh! Hi, Jake! Oh, I see. My dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have like a quick Pokemon battle. I'll give you a taste of what it's like becoming a trainer! I should have the total dial. Yeah. So this is, this is what we could have had, but I'm going to count on the fact that there are plenty uh, plenty of blood effects in this generation. <laughs> but, should be an easy kill, easy win. Unless they get a crit like that, but, no, we'll be fine. Boom! Bailey's level 7. I don't really know, like, the level up moveset of, like, Pidgey or anything like that. Or when it evolves, for that matter. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, like, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You must be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon so easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. Alright, where is this? There we go. There was the, like, little under underside bar thing. Anyways. Is our Pokemon still hurt? Yeah, let's, let's heal it up before we keep on going. That, and talk to me one more time. Over here, like, let's hurry home! Gotta go talk to Maze Faja. Oh, hi, I'm uh, Jake. I heard you beat Bay on your first try. That is excellent. Uh, they helped me with my research for a long time. Bay has extensive history as a trader already. Here. Jake, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have it. This is Pokedex. Boom. Two of the three items that we need are here. Uh, my kid, man, goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon, it records its data in the Pokedex. Why, they looks for me while I'm out doing field research, it shows me. Oh my goodness, wow, Jake, you got a Pokedex too? That's great, just like me. I've got something for you too. Boom. That means our Nuzlocke has officially started, everyone. <laughs> now we should be able to get them running shrooms from our mama. Wait, Jake. Jake, Jake, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon you got from Professor Brooks. How nice. You're your father's child, all right? You look good together with the Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip to your step, and I don't need to read the directions. Thank you very much. Do you think that you have your very own Pokemon now? Your father will be overjoyed, but please be careful. If anything happens, you can always come home. Go on, go get him, honey. Thanks. You can have my room while I'm gone, because I won't be needing it. Alright, Route 101. I'm excited. I saw that Pillow Swine. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. Route... Route... 101. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres, and I want this blade of grass right here. And our Route 101 encounter is a Butterfree! Or another flying time! That's fine. We're gonna tackle it. And... Oh god, I thought that was gonna hit it. Rough skin, though? 
And it has confusion? Hold on a second. This may not be as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Let's throw a ball at it. I know what I'm gonna name this thing. It has a superior ability to search for delicious honey from flowers. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, I'm going to give it a name. Oh no, I did not have my fingers in the right spot. Okay, well, just so you guys all know, and for the record, I'm going to write down its name. Uh, I know that that was one of the rules. But I know where the move tutor, not move tutor, uh, name raider, there it is, name raider is in this game. And it's actually not too, uh, not too far. Not too far from here. But like, it's probably gonna take a few episodes and everything, but I think it's like after the second gym. Which, the beginning of the game is pretty fast, so it won't be too bad. Just so everyone knows. Uh, Butterfree's name is Bye Bye, and it is Bye Bye because in the Pokemon anime, I don't know if you guys remember this, probably the episode that gave everyone a little tear. The episode was called Bye Bye Butterfree, I think. I don't know, I might be wrong about that now that I'm thinking about it, but I think it's called Bye Bye Butterfree. Um, that's why I named it this. Um, Jonathan will fix it and everything. He'll put Bye Bye in the bottoms bottom like of the picture so you can you guys actually know what the name is but when I get there I'll actually fix the name and everything. Uh anyways it's Butterfree, bye bye. He has uh she has rough skin, uh holding the blue flute and has confusion. So I mean nothing really too special. We're gonna take that blue flute and we are going to buy some more blue Pokemons. We're going to buy ten Pokeballs. Because we can. And we're going to buy three potions. And we have some potions. There we go. Alright, we got two more encounters. And we might just actually have time to get through Route 102. But for now, we're going to get these encounters here. And our Route 102 encounter built suspense. Before you actually see it, I'm going to write down Route 102. And it is Slack off. I actually don't mind that because uh, Slack King is really good, but it's hindered by its ability. Since all abilities are randomized, uh, it doesn't matter. I already know I'm done in this, so I just need to figure out the name. Let me look it up. I'm going to look up. I want to name this thing the monkey from the jungle book. Monkey from the jungle book. Name. Uh King Louie, that's why I'm gonna name it. Awesome. Make sure the finger's in the right spot. Drag on the wrong button. King Of the Jungle Book. Alright, King Louie. King Louie. Awesome. Uh, King Louie, what, what are you working with here? Guts ups an attack of its suffering. So if it's like paralyzed or something, Scratch will do a lot more damage. <laughs> Anyways, not too bad. We got two flying types. Route 103, our chances are not very good. There's like a Persian, there was a... Uh, another flying type. But I actually really like Murkrow. Um, I think it's really cool. I'm not gonna try to it. I'm not gonna risk it. Oh, I thought I had it. Oops. Okay. Uh, let's heal up. Before we do anything. I'm gonna use like maybe one or two more. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna be doing that now. Um, you up again? One, two, or three. Boom. Okay. Now, what do we name a Murkrow? Let's see if the Pokedex can give me any ideas. Uh, I'm just gonna name it Sparkles. this team so I'm not minding these guys or anything um I might cut this episode now now let's get through one of you we're gonna put butterfree up first and we are going to heal up and we're gonna get through this route then after that time I'll probably uh, end the episode but yeah I mean I don't know about you guys I'm pretty excited for this uh series oh! Oh, it's a sweet coon. How nice. How nice of them to give them give us a sweet coon for a very first With bite, mind you. Oh my goodness, how nice of them. And just doing that. Okay. Um This is why I really like sand attack. Um I wasn't really expecting uh I wasn't really expecting to have a death in our first episode, but uh, I would not be surprised. That might kill me. Okay. We're gonna push him back. We're gonna push him. We're gonna heal up. Okay. Um. So what I'm not understanding is that I have a bright powder and three sand attacks. Why are you still hitting me? Why are you still hitting me? Miss. You don't miss. You miss. Why? 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 Unless you have like compound eyes or something. This is getting with it. We're gonna this. Come on. Boom. Jesus. You guys see what I have to deal with here? I used up all my potions. And Bailey leveled up too. And all all of that for 80 bucks. I ain't gonna buy me more potions. Alright, let's I think we're okay. Jesus. Alright, uh we got like a few more guys to battle here. Um I do want to do a little thing. I don't know where Jonathan can really like, fit it at, if you can fit it on the screen or not. I do want to do, like, questions of the day. Um, today's question of the day, we're going to start off early since it's just the first episode. Uh, we're going to do, what is your favorite Pokemon and why? My favorite Pokemon is Octopus. Why? Because me and my brothers were talking about our favorite Pokemon one day and I didn't have one, so I found I found one. That's all it is. Ever since it's just been my favorite Pokemon. Explode. Let's get the movie. I'll send out Bailey for this. Yeah, you missed. Nice, that actually- Oh, you have rough skin too. Oh, you have how? Doesn't matter. Get up and out. Cool. Bailey's getting up there in the levels, which is fine. Finally learned Gus, thankfully. And King Louie grew to level 4. Let's get up in here and heal. And we still got a good amount of time left, so. Oopsies. So, uh. We're 
gonna fit the rest of these trainers here? We got like three more or something like that? What's this guy, Lobot? Just sneeze like me. Cool. Uh, Lantern! That would've been cool. See what I'm talking about with all these like water types and everything? And hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Oh. Both of these now. No, but I do want to know what you guys like. Um. Oh, I hurt myself. Dang it. Thunder Wave 2? Um. I do want to know what you guys' favorite Pokemon is. Uh. Easily. Metagross. Uh. Number 2 is Sylveon. Um. Number 3 is probably a toss up between a lot of different. <laughs> but, uh, oh no, maybe number three is probably, uh, Empoleon. Uh, we're gonna switch you up for Empoleon really now. But, uh, yeah, I just wanna know what you guys. What's, what's the origin story of your favorite Pokemon? Let's see if I can, uh. King Louie might have to pull this off. I think he can. Crit. We're fine. Okay. Had a boy, King Louie. I like to slack off. First ring. We're going to send out sparkles. Um. Yeah. I do like Murkrow. I like a lot of Pokemon though. That does a lot. Okay. You can calm down now. Uh, now we go out to Bailey and show him who's boss. With the gust. He missed. <laughs> Bright Powder. Bright Powder is like a cheat code, really. Bright Powder and having Sand Attack. Cheat code. Sparkles level 5. Nice. We're moving along pretty nicely here. I'm gonna go back and heal one more time before we fight uh, this last guy. I'm gonna grab these berries too. Orange berries? That comes in handy for the gym. Uh, let's see what else is here. Petra berries, that helps with poison. Mm. Is there really not an item here? Who would think that there'd be like a hidden item? Alright. One more time, heal. We got one more trainer to fight. And uh, let's see what else. What else we got? That'll probably be the end of the episode then. Um, let's see. There's a one little lady here. What do you want? What do you want? 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 What does she got? Did you guys, a little spunk. Get out of here. With Splash? Why does Spunk have Splash? Such a, like, a water type thing to have Splash. Such a Magikarp. Well, I guess Magikarp flops around like Spunk does. One more time. Is that all you have is Splash? That kind of sucks. Poor guy. Level up. Nope. Tyranitar. Hello. We're gonna stay in. Uh, and we're gonna yawn. Because I am scared. It's rock type, I'm pretty sure. Like rock dark or something like that. So literally nothing I do to it is gonna hurt. Ooh, except Yeah, that's not gonna hurt very much. Who has I think it's you. Just how much is that gonna do? Not very much. Very fantastic. Well, we're going to sand attack you. Because I have bright powder, the ability sand veil, and sand attack. This is going to take a while, but we'll get there. That does a little bit more. But it's still hitting me. I'm just going to keep on going. 
He's going on our defense, that's fine. I mean, yeah, enough on me. King Louie, level 6, though, and Bailey's level 10. Very good. Very, very good. Alright, we got an X defend. Absolutely useless to us. Alright, before we go into this next town, I am going to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. We got, uh, let's see, what we, we got our starter, we fought May, we got three encounters. Uh, a lot of flying types, but I think we will make do. There's a lot more encounters to come before the first gym even happens. So I'm sure there will be some team changes before the first gym. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I hope you're as excited for this uh, series as I am. Anyways, goodbye! <laughs>